Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Oppo R9S, the smartphone that just out-appled Apple. Oppo has been creating Apple-inspired handsets for years. Their blatant homage to Cupertino has resulted in well-built handsets that would often be half or a third of the price with a few compromises. Upon taking the R9S out of the box, it has the same solid build quality that we're expecting from Oppo. Remember, these are the guys who showed us their phones hammering nails and opening walnuts a few years ago. But where Oppo out-appled Apple is on the six-string antenna design on the back. This is the first time I've seen a company so elegantly hide the antenna lines on an all-metal phone. But the R9S is just so much smaller and more compact. It's only 0.7 millimeters thinner, but pair that with a 40 gram drop in weight, a narrower and shorter frame, and overall, the phone just feels like it's got better build quality. The iPhone 7 Plus almost looks like a childish attempt at a smartphone in comparison, which is shocking because Apple has long been the king of design. Reducing the size of bezels is always a good thing. Who doesn't want larger screens in a more compact body? Xiaomi launched the Mi Mix in China, which is a bezel-less smartphone. Maximizing screen real estate introduces a lot of problems, and Xiaomi has addressed all of them. It seems like Chinese smartphone manufacturers are collectively putting Apple on notice. Okay, so before you tear me apart in the comments, the Mi Mix is a concept phone that's only being sold in China. And the R9S is full of compromises, although the camera really isn't one of them. Yes, it doesn't have two lenses, but the quality is in the same ballpark as the iPhone 7 Plus, which says a lot. If you really kind of dig into it, you'll see that Oppo's photos are a little oversaturated and they are a little less detailed. But having said that, they still look really great and are competitive with the iPhone. Also, Color OS is greatly improved and now comes with native search. I have been waiting for this for a long time. It literally breaks my heart that the R9S does not come with a Snapdragon 820 or 821 processor. In today's day and age, it's just a little too slow to be flagship competitive. But giving credit where credit is due, Oppo did out Apple Apple in terms of design. Same screen size, larger battery, it includes a headphone jack, the camera is definitely good enough. And the truth is, if Apple had come out with this six string antenna design, the internet literally would have fallen apart. Instead, we're gonna have to wait for the iPhone 8, when Apple totally steals this idea from Oppo, for the internet to break and everyone to go, oh damn, look what Apple just did with all metal frames, and then everyone will have just forgotten that Oppo did it first. So you're on notice, Apple. Chinese smartphone manufacturers are definitely stepping up their game and what you're showing with the iPhone 7 Plus just looks dated. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I will be putting up a full review of the Oppo R9S very shortly, but for now you can watch an unboxing or maybe even the Mi Mix review or my review of the iPhone 7 Plus, which I desperately tried to love, but has several, several things wrong with it. All right, Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. Bye.